Hello and welcome Mehdi here back with another video for you and today we're going to create this Studio Ghibli Blu-ray cover. This is all the film directed by the great Hayao Miyazaki. I'm a huge Hayao Miyazaki fan, especially my favorite is uh, Kiki Delivery Service and My Neighbor Totoro and I have the Totoro right up here as well and that was actually a gift from one of my students and I'm still very grateful about that. And let's go ahead and get started what i have done with this project i have prepared all of the assets because we're using so many different assets in this project i have gone ahead and prepared all of the assets for this project that means i have extracted all the background or the characters or the what i wanted from the background a lot of this had different backgrounds that had to be uh, extracted from and also save it as a png and make sure everything is ready to go I have saved the, the font that Studio Ghibli, this is the Studio Ghibli font, done all of that and every asset is created and ready to go. As always the timestamp of this project is in the description below and also the all the assets that you need is in a zip file and the link to that zip file is also in the description below. You can go ahead and download it from my Google Drive, uncompress it, make sure you're ready then you go file open and you should have all of these files in your folder we're going to start with the blu-ray case 14 mil jpeg file go ahead and double click on that and it will open this file for you so this is the standard size for blu-ray covers that the spine is 14 millimeter thick usually each uh, blu-ray packaging come with different thickness spine so in this case is a 14 mil one Hence why you have this particular template. So go to the second selection tool, uh, the second tool, marquee selection tool. You click and drag as best as you can to select all the white area, which is the spine. Hold Alt and zoom in. You're going to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Press left and match it as best as you can. Because we're using uh, zoomed in so much, it will move one pixel at a time in the grid. And this is a perfect match. So I'm going to hold Alt, zoom out. And I'm going to fill this with a very specific blue color. This is the blue color for the branding for Studio Ghibli. All the stuff is, this is Hayao Miyazaki's uh, signature as well. We want to keep everything as authentic as possible to Studio Ghibli. One of the things I didn't show you guys is that uh, this uh, box that does actually exist and I thought, as much as I love this one as well, uh, I wanted to create a very special uh, cover. So that's the original one. And uh, we're creating our own custom version of it. So it's going to be quite cool. Right, let's go back to this one. As I was saying, this is the particular blue that Sudo Ghibli uses in their branding most of the time. So we're going to go ahead and sample that blue. And this is it. This is for uh, the code for it is 47 AEF0. So go ahead and put that as your foreground color. Once you have done that, go to uh, layer, new fill layer, solid color. And this is the best way to fill a selection because that will already create a layer for you. So you're doing a lot of steps in one go. Click OK is already going to pick that. Again, it's, the code was 47AEF0. So click OK, it will fill that. Now we want to select everything else. The easiest way to do this is to select the spine again. By the way, this is the spine layer. Let's name it. So that's your fill layer. That's the particular color. And that's your layer mask. So if I hold Control and click on the mask, it will select the spine exactly for me. We know about inverse. If I go to select and click on inverse or control shift I, which I prefer, it will inverse the selection and that will be everything that is not the spine. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Layer, new fill layer, solid color, click OK and click OK. You might be wondering why I've done it separately. That's because we want to know exactly where the spine is. So we're going to hide our front cover so name it front and then toggle it off that's the visibility toggle it off we want to solely work uh, on the side first 
Right, let's have a look at our finished product. Right, we have our Studio Ghibli logo. They have two different versions of it. And on uh, every Blu-ray cover or Blu-ray disc from Studio Ghibli, they will always have all of these things. G Kids is the distributor for Studio Ghibli in Europe and in the United States. So we definitely wanted that as well. We want to keep it as authentic as possible in our cover. So I have, again, downloaded all of these logos. Let's start with the top. G Kids. Oh, go file open and then go ahead and open G Kids logo. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Again, the shortcuts is always on the screen. So go ahead and uh, do that. Go back here. Press Ctrl V and copy everything. Hold Shift as always. Again, hold Shift so you don't squash or stretch it. Hold Shift. Hold Alt to zoom in. Hold Space to pan. Again, go to the Move tool and then you want to go back to Ctrl T. Like I accidentally confirmed. So if you ever come out of the Ctrl T accidentally, just press Ctrl T again. Go back into the Transform tool. It's easier to move it that way. Uh, it will snap it in the middle of the spine. This is a good thing, therefore, Sean will know that we're trying to fit it in the this thickness and it will snap in the middle. That's the purple line. Once you've done that, roughly about this space, press Ctrl Enter. That will confirm the position and the size as well. Ctrl I to inverse every color. So this is image. Adjustment, uh, adjustments and invert. So this is inverting every single color from dark to uh, to light. So if it's black, the opposite side of it is uh, is uh, is white. All right. So go down. All right. Let's close that. Let's have a look. The next one is the Ghibli. So we're gonna go file open. The Studio Ghibli logo small. .jpg. This one. Click OK and Control A again, Control C. Go ahead and paste it in your document. All right. Control T again to go to the free transform tool. Hold Shift, resize it, go in, hold space. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit larger. Uh, roughly about that size. You want it to be the same uh, width of the the circle of the G kids. Uh, as soon as you've done that, Control Enter to confirm it again, and Control I to reverse the invert the colors. Here's a quick uh, trick for you. If you want to, because we know that the thickness of the lines are not uh, thick enough. The quickest way to do this, and the easiest way to do this, is to duplicate this layer. To duplicate a layer, so all you have to do is just click and drag onto the icon next to the trash. So if I click and drag and let go, it will duplicate it. And as soon as I do that, look how much more visible that is, because you're duplicating the same transparent layer twice. And that's the best way to do it. I want to hold Shift or hold Control, select both of those layers, and I want to merge those layers together merge layers. The shortcut for that is Control E. So remember that. Control E, that will merge it. Uh, I'm going to write down Studio Ghibli uh, logo. And this one was do name your layers because we, this is going to be a, a massive project and there will be tons of uh, layers and you don't want to get confused so all right so far so good let's go back uh we have the two uh writing this is the same file as that i'm right, gonna go ahead and close that go file open uh let's find it so it's this one hayao miyazaki uh png and the collected work dot png open both of them start with the collected work control a control c this is the same process every time. So you always want, uh, want to press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, 
control T once you have copied it in your canvas. Hold shift to snap it every 40, every, I think it's every 45. So if you want it straight, or it might not actually be every 45. Well, we'll snap it to a perfect uh, horizontal and vertical. So hold shift uh, and just position it. That's awful positioning. Let's go right in the middle. It will again snap it in the middle for you. I'm going to use the arrow keys and position it. So that's done. I'm happy about that for now. To position it, you have to have this one as well. Otherwise, you won't know which size is better. So, or which position is better. So, again, okay, hold shift, control A, control C, control V, control T, hold shift, rotate it, control enter to confirm. Let's have a quick uh, look. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. And, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select both layers. I'm going to merge it again. Hold control. Select layer 1 and layer 2. Layer 2 is Hayao Miyazaki. Layer 1 is the collected work of layer. Control E. That will merge it again. Control I. That will inverse it. Or invert it rather. Uh, hold shift. Then you can move it. Hold shift and use the arrow keys to move up and down. And let go of the shift so you have more. If you hold shift, it will nudge, it will move multiple pixels at a time. If you hold, if you don't hold shift, it's one pixel at a time. Hold alt and zoom in. Make sure you're happy with the positioning. This is uh, okay. I'm okay with this. Looks about the same. We've got the Blu-ray disc logo and the other Studio Ghibli logo as well. All right, let's close these two for now. We need to bring it back later to do that. But for now, we're done. Uh, Let's go file open again. Uh, we're going to find the Blu-ray disc logo. That's already white, ready to go for us. So control A, control C. And find your right file, control V. Massive file size, so press control T. Hold shift, drag from the corner. Hold alt and scroll in and just drag it down I think it's way too big now you want to have a bit of margining you know you don't want to be too big you know the spacing you know do you want to have your elements to have a bit of a breathing room you don't want to have a massive that is hugging the edges that's one of the common mistake that uh, students make when they're creating their uh, uh, poster or their blu-ray cover or whatever graphic design it is they just they just get the spacing wrong and it will make or break your uh, your cover so let's go close that next one was that studio ghibli we have to edit that uh, a bit not too bad but this is the logo blu-ray cover this is for blu-ray cover of studio ghibli uh, this is an index image that means the mode for this image is index so if i if you go to image it, notice what happens if i want to unlock this layer nothing happens so if ever that frustrates you and you don't know what's going on look at it does it say index if it says index that means the mode has to be changed first to rgb color do that first then it will change to background now it's a rgb mode image now you can double click on it and it will just unlock or you can just use the the lock icon i just prefer to double click and click cancel or okay uh, we want to just select the the i don't know what to call it this thing itself in the middle the the, the character <laughs> Right, to select the character, go to the magic wand tool. We've got multiple options. I think I'm just going to use the magic wand tool. I'm going to use the magic wand tool and select that uh, outline for the character. Select the feet for it. But obviously, we want to select the eyes as well. So, I'm going to go and click and hold and use the elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to hold shift. Notice when I hold shift, the plus icon appears. It will add to the selection. Hold shift, add to your selection. 
Now everything that I need is selected and ready to go. Press Ctrl C, go back, Ctrl V, and that will be just perfect. Uh, probably a bit too big. Actually, I like the size. I'm actually going to not resize it. So that was a happy accident. You know, I'm not going to resize it. I'm going to position it. I hold Shift and go up. So Control Shift and arrow. It will go up. Uh, I really need to rename some of this stuff as well because now I don't know which one is Blu-ray. So this was a, a spine text. So this is why we rename our layer. So that's spine text. This is the Blu-ray logo. Blu-ray logo. Uh, and we want to select that, go to the selection to uh, move to rather, hold shift, so you move faster and move that up. That looks good. That looks amazing and we are done. That white pixels, uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. If you want to fix it, uh, hold control, this is uh, logo spine, hold control. And click on the thumbnail. If you really want to get rid of that, what you need to do, you need to uh, now minus from the selection. We don't want to make this white. Uh, because what I want to do, I want to use the brightness to... Oh! Apologies for that. I had to hold space for a second <laughs> to move our sel my selection tool. But uh, make sure you deselect the eyes. You select everything, deselect the eyes, go control U, and then change the brightness. So that was zero. Look what happens. This is the easiest way to do that. If you have something that is mostly white and you want to get rid of that ugly uh, black line, do that. Look at before and after. Look how much nicer that looks now. It's good to be a perfectionist. I didn't want to do it, but uh, because I don't think you will notice it. But now that we've done it, it's perfect. Hold uh, Alt and scroll out. Right, that's it for the part one of this uh, Blu-ray cover uh, Studio Ghibli tutorial. Uh, go ahead and watch the part two. You can. Uh, I'm gonna put a link right up here for part two. Go ahead and watch part two. I'm gonna end it here. It's already 20 minutes long. Make sure you uh, like the video. Make sure you share it, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in part two.